we go. We are back. Some X Defiant, dude. I love. I'm loving this game. I still think this game is like incredibly amazing so far. Form. Start off with a double kill. Switch to our pistol. Oh, dude. Okay, if we would have got the triple kill, that would have been nice. The last night I spent time just playing this game a little bit. I mean, we had a really, really bad storm here, but I spent time playing this game, having some fun, messing around, just using the M4. So I'm trying to get gold on every single gun, and I'd like to do that because Obsidian's coming out for Model 3. So it's going to be a long grind with some multiple games, but here, I'm down for it. Okay, got him. I'm surprised. I'm absolutely loving the no-skill based matchmaking. Dude, he's 1 HP! He's actually at 1 HP. But so far, my M4 is level 8. If you guys are wondering how I got this camo, by the way, like, can you inspect in this game? I don't think you can. Oh, we just got a trophy. But the way I got this gun, or this camo, I should say, is literally just from playing in the beta or the alpha, I think, and I got a certain level. I think I hit max level, or close to it, at least. Because I was here on day one when this game first came out, and dude, yeah, they, I've seen a lot of improvements with this game. It's super good, super fun. Super, like, I would say, like, relaxing in a way where you don't have to sweat every game and you don't have to be, like, good every single game because you could not be good finally and still do good. Okay, yeah, dude, the pistol, I also realize, is pretty weak in this game. 7 and 5, okay. Can I get this guy? Oh, dude, what a long shot. Yeah, ARs from long shots in this game are honestly, like, really easy to control. For COD, sometimes my aim can actually be, like, awful. And even in this game, going invisible. He's not going to see me. He's not going to see me. A-Bud behind you. We'll take the kill. Oh, no, okay. we're dead. Yeah, dude, that guy's been destroying us the entire game. Once I'm high enough level, I have to put a magazine on. Uh, the amount of, like, bullets I'm, like, wasting per kill is kind of ridiculous. We got We just blazed him through there. I'm loving every single X-Defiant map as well. I don't think there's, like, a bad map, which I don't like. We get the double kill. Dude. It's so hard to get double kills in this game. I plan on posting a lot, a lot, a lot more X Defiant videos. I posted them during the beta and it seems to be like some kind of thing that you guys somewhat enjoyed over Call of Duty. And I'm loving X Defiant. I've said it before, it is super smooth, it's super fun. No skill based matchmaking honestly is one of the biggest W's of this game and I am being serious. There's a camo grind, we know I love my camo grinds. Let's go invisible for a second. I don't think he saw us at all. There we go. Down here, anyone on B? Nope, oh, they're behind me. I can't get it behind. I shouldn't have done this well. See, like, my aim good. Oh, it's level 9! So my gun is, like, pretty good from distance. Sometimes, otherwise, we'll have the worst aim. I swear it's literally, like, 50 50. Go invisible. Do you spawn flip? Yeah, there's multiple. What? What? I'm replying with that a little emoji. What? I'm surprised we did not get him. Oh my! I'm down to my. He's either good or trash. Oh wait, how does he have so much a or, uh, HP? I. Uh, what? I was doing damage to him. It's also kind of nice because the attachments in this game is there is not like 40 attachments for every like little thing. Oh my! We're just feeling lucky. Yeah, that was a feeling lucky kill. Having just like six attachments for like every like little part of the gun makes it just so much like more nice in a way of like I don't need to know like every little attachment like because in Modern Warfare 3 for example there's like 15 different Bruin M9 grips that all have like a difference of a 0.1 plus attachment and honestly at that point it just gets too much really no point in having those type of attachments at all so with this game it definitely does make it a little bit nicer but there's a little bit less customization which kind of sounds crazy also dude i'm ready to get gold camo on something gold camo in this game looks super clean i'm gonna try to get a 15 hp it's the story of my life okay specials yep come on hey marker no Jump it down. Got him. Oh no. Team. I got us by the way, team. I was the one that got us B right there. 23 and 17. Okay. That guy's using a specialist. Oh, he uses a specialist just to die. I'm sorry. No, no, they're on B. They're on B. No, no, we're dead. Oh, what a kill. No, dude. I'm surprised he knew I was there. It sucks because with work, I've been working like four full entire days like monday through this sunday i don't know when you guys are watching this but monday through sunday i'm literally working like full entire days at work 
Dude, it, worst timing ever. Dude, I can't ever kill this kid. I swear one thing I've noticed, and it's the most random thing ever, and I know it's not true, but every single guy who's a higher level than me, I swear it takes more damage to kill him. It's the weirdest thing in the entire world. Okay, close win. I mean, kind of close win, I guess. I've yet to actually play this map. I believe I played this map in the beta. Yeah, I did. This map was pretty fun. I low key had some sniper clips on this map. If you guys also want to see a sniper X Defiant video, please let me know. I would be down to do it. Yeah, we're good. I mean, I am going to have to be using snipers a ton because I believe for one gun to fully get it max ranked and max leveled up, which it is level 100, by the way. Got him. He died. But for bronze, I believe it's level 50. Silver is level 75 for your gun. And then to get unlocked gold just for one gun, whatever gun you're using, is level 100 the gun, which takes about 100 hour gameplay wise. But you might think that's a lie. You might think it's un like impossible to get. But you got to think about how this game is not releasing every year. This is the full game. This is the game that's out right now. They don't plan on making an X Defiant 2. I doubt they ever will. So they are going to have X Defiant. Might as well make it where it's hard. Make it a long grind. Try and make people play longer. Retention. Honestly, it's smart. I like the idea of having high levels too. Because if this game is truly going to be out forever, what do you do if you hit max rank so fast? There's really nothing to do. I got to heal. Got him. I can't believe we got that kill. I can't believe it. I love these small maps. It just makes the game go by so much faster and it feels so much nicer. Like literally every map is not 20 feet. It doesn't take me 10 minutes to find one enemy at all. Going behind, going behind, going behind. I'm awful. I just realized I am awful at this game. No. Dude, the pistols are so weak! No, dude. I know you was using a sniper, but come on, dude. Really? 80 HP. What's doing? Wait, why are they going back to our spawn? We'll take a little kill. double kill. That's all I can get. With how this game feels, though, I don't think this game is going to be dying as fast as people are kind of thinking. I was honestly on that spectrum of, like, this game will die probably in about, like, two weeks or, like, two months or something like that. Honestly, I don't see this game really dying. I see this game being a heavy competitor for Call of Duty. I feel like it depends on like what we get for season one, maybe season two, but honestly, they're kind of cooking and I see this being a little competition for Call of Duty and I think this is what Call of Duty needs. They need something that's going to make it hard, going to make Call of Duty like fall off a little bit so Call of Duty is forced to work harder to do things. I honestly really like this. It reminds me back of the days where like Halo, Battlefield were absolutely destroying Call of Duty. Call of Duty then had to respond with some heat doing crazy stuff. MW2, MW3 adding stuff. Like what makes Call of Duty good is if there's another game competing with it. For example, Split Game came out and it competed against COD for a little bit. COD made some adjustments. And then COD bounced back and made even COD a little bit better for a little bit. I believe this was during Cold War time. Level 12 player, okay. I don't even know what max rank is. Is it level 50? I wish they had like a whole prestige system and then they had like mass prestige in this game. I know it'd be like taken like right off of Call of Duty, but hey, if we're playing this game for a long time, I want to hit like a max ranked level. I want to keep resetting my levels over and over. And then I did hear it was also confirmed that we are getting like a full on master camo, that there is something once you do unlock gold for everything. So I'm definitely going to be grinding and working my way towards that, especially before the brand new Call of Duty comes out. Like I said, 100 hour gameplay though, we're going to be grinding this game a ton. Can I get in here and not die? What? Yeah, this thing's overpowered. You can't die with this thing. It's actually so overpowered. Triple kill? Oh, we got the triple kill somehow. Definitely expect some more videos on this game. Expect some camo videos, some fun videos, some random videos, maybe some challenges. But for me, I've just been playing Domination so far. I played like a little bit like the safeguard mode and that game mode is super fun. Especially I was playing with some friends as you guys saw. Honestly, that game mode could be really good. I hope they add some like brand new maps. Like it reminds me of also, it's basically just war if I'm being honest from World War II mixed in with safeguard huge w i hope they keep adding maps for that because that could be a fun game mode got him reload dude i meant to switch my gun reload same thing victory okay that's the game i mean how did we do i don't think we did that great yeah the most damage done Woo! at 24 and 28 
I am loving this game. Please let me know if you guys want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.